All right, welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, another quick hitter edition, going back up to Canada uh, to give some breaking news in terms of the uh, Montreal Hells Angels are, are going to be getting uh, a big name back into the fold or have gotten a big name back into the fold. Uh, uh, Marvin Casper Wimet, uh major shot caller during the 2000s uh, for a faction of the Montreal Hells Angels, did about 15 years in prison and, and recently just got paroled, uh, coming back into a environment that's quite charged right now. A lot of uh, tensions mounting or in some ways have already broken out into the open. Um, you, you have some consternation between the Hells Angels and the Italian mafia in Montreal, the Rizzuto crime family, uh, a lot of shifting allegiances. Uh, uh, you know, we could spend hours, days unpacking the uh, political machinations of, of the, the, the Montreal underworld right now. But the Hells Angels, um, who are you know, suspects right now in the uh, murder, the June 2023 murder of uh, renegade Italian mob figure Francesco Del Basso, who had months earlier tried to assassinate Leonardo Rizzuto, who survived that assassination attempt. There were rumors that the Hells Angels were backing Del Basso's play, and then Del Basso uh, was murdered in Montreal in June, uh, leaving a meeting with Hells Angels Montreal shot caller Marty Robert. Uh, so we don't know exactly what's going on with law enforcement other than that they're looking into all this. Uh, they've arrested people with uh, th that were involved in the Rizzuto shooting. And getting Wamet back in, you know, back in action. Uh, and this is a guy who, you know, is, is a dyed in wool, to use that expression, a biker boss, a guy that you know, lives it to, a, to the core, uh, headed the uh, an infiltration of the construction industry in, in Montreal uh, in, in the 90s and 2000s and was working as a liaison to the Rizzutos. So that should help. Um, and just the Montreal Hells Angels are, are just, you know, over the last couple of years, they recognize the instability uh, within the, the Italian mob orbit and how it affects them. And uh, they've been, you know, building an arsenal of, of powerhouses. Uh, and he just, Casper, you know, adds to that. They brought Teflon Rob Barletta uh, up from uh, out from London, uh, and previously the boss of the Niagara chapter into Montreal. He had his house burned down uh, last month in an arson fire. That's probably in, involved in all of uh, these, um, all of this conflict that's been going on in Montreal now for a decade and a half, or roughly a decade, a decade and a half, but Casper uh, Wilmette is back in Montreal, paroled after, I believe, 14 years in prison, and it will be interesting to see how he integrates in with uh, uh, Marty Robert and those guys. Uh, right now, Robert's the, the top shot caller with the Montreal Hells Angels. Uh, Nurga is in, um, you know, out in, in the Hamilton area in Ontario. He's still the the boss of bosses when it comes to Hell's Angels in Canada, but uh, Marty Robert uh, is kind of like the Mom Boucher, if you will, uh, modern day version. Uh, has a lot of similar leadership attributes and uh, people uh, really like him. And uh, he, he's known as kind of a politician, a guy that can get along with a lot of different groups, just like Casper. Um, so we'll see how how this all plays out. But Casper will met back in Montreal after a decade and a half in a Canadian prison. Uh, I believe he's about 54 years old. And uh, in, in all this times going up for uh, parole, he always refused to um, disengage from the Hells Angels. So he was asked to, you know, will you uh, not affiliate with them when you come out? And he was like, I'm always going to affiliate with them. I'm a Hells Angel until uh, I die. 
that's who Casper Lumet is. So, you know, he comes back into a, a scene. I'm not sure where Marty Robert was 15 years ago. So um, I'm sure they know each other, and I'm guessing they're going to work well with each other. And then you add, and I said, uh, uh, Barletta and a couple other guys that are Robert loyalists. So, you know, we'll be reporting on everything that's going on in, in you know, Canadian underworld affairs here at the OG pod. You're always going to get the uh, the best analysis and, and, and the you know fastest breaking news when it comes to that. Uh, Marvin Casper will met back on the scene in the Canadian biker underworld for Jimmy, who will be back on the long form podcast with me later this week. And for Benny behind the glass, I'm Scott Bernstein, OG pod out. Oh, 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 oh,